Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on my channel. Um, today we will take a look at some bases again in Legends. Um, today was pretty good, yesterday uh, pretty good as well. We are currently place 100. Um, I think I think it was like around like four or five hundred to reset today. Um, but anyway, I got some bases that I would like to show you. And I know um, some of you asked for a um, hero tutorial video and this will coming. Um, it should be the next tutorial, it should be about the heroes, the value about the heroes and all that. But I need to prepare some things for that. Um, but without further ado, let's get right into this video. And if you're new to the channel, uh, channel, I would really appreciate if you like and subscribe. And now, peace out. All right, here on the first base, and probably all of you know this base because this is a very, very old base. It was popular, I think, a few months ago. And I feel like now old bases are coming up again because this is not only the, the only base that I attacked, which is very old, but I would like to discuss it with you too. And here on this base, I usually have two approach. The one is what Stars is doing with going with the saps for the Inferno Tower, or let me let me sh just show it with, with the color. Um, going with the sap for these buildings right here. And very, Good to notice you only need five for the Inferno Tower and five only for the Spell Tower. So you can save two Lightning Spells. And what he is doing afterwards, he is going in with the Sui for with the King for this whole thing right here. And uh, let me go out um, with the King for this right here. And he let his Queen walk down right here and if it com comes down to the sui you basically just want good pathing for your for your lolo and if you see if we take this section out here too this is not really a line yet because it is more like i can do a different color yellow this is more like something I don't know, nothing really good. And now comes the reason why I wanted to discuss this space with you. Because here on this space, if you see you have a not good Lalo path, you basically want to split your Lalo, I would call it. And what do I mean by split your Lalo? Um, you basically want to send in your main part with the warden from the bottom with the blimp for the town hall and what this group should just take out is just that section right here and you can send some in from here to get maybe out the ricochet can and the, and the arch tower and of course send some headhunters for the queen but after that if this all is down you still should have enough loons um, we will see it after in the replay. I only sent a few loons. I am not gonna send all my loons because this should just be a mini lol. Because as you can see, there is nowhere else to go than into the town hall. And the more you, uh, the more loons you are sending in, the more loons will die in the town hall. So you need a little balance, which is a good amount but not too much and the rest the rest should you start um, a small lolo uh, I can do it with a different color with brown and the rest should go from the top because as you can see here on the top you have this clear line again and if you're lucky your warden actually will um, go to the new level then I'll call it. Um, but if this may, may sound a little um, heavy for you, we'll take a look at the replay now. So this is the stars approach. 
I can maybe I can maybe show what what sometimes I'm doing as well. What you can do as well, what I did for a long time is sapping out these three buildings right here. And then I would just go with my with my heroes for for this bottom section right here and the multi inferno tower. And after that you should have not the clear clearest line, but you still have a line that you can follow, which is this one right here with a blimp for the town hall and this infernal tower right here. But the problem with this approach is, is this multi right here and the poison tower. So that's why I meanwhile prefer the stars approach. Uh, but we can take a look at it now. Yeah, maybe turn down the volume a little bit. So you can see now the king just should go in for the scatter shot. We wall break him twice and the queen just should get some buildings on the outside. But you you will see I'm not getting too much crazy value with my with my heroes. I already popped my queen ability because there is a lot of damage on her. And what is maybe very good here as well, you can see the king can easily fight off the, the enemy CC. And very interesting to notice, look at this archer on the left side right here, take down this whole air defense, which is very important because an air defense can be a very annoying uh, defensive building at the backhand too. But now we have done our suite because that was already everything that we want to do. And now we can see we're just sending in the lava hunt and some loons. You can see I'm still hanging on to 18 loons right here. You can see some some on the right side. And now all I all I already do is sending the lava hunt, the blimp, and the headhunters for the queen, and the, the blimp for the town. I'm not expecting to get too crazy value. As you can see, the tornado trap is here as well. But you can see I'm still hanging on to one lava hound and 15 loons. But you will see after in the end where they are coming in. And now you can see I already start with a lolo from the top. This should be now the lolo that should close out this base. The royal champion is still alive as well, but I think she oh, okay. She is still have has ability. But you can still uh, see this this little lolo from the top should carry through the attack and yeah this are three star and even though the or nearly everything of the lolo died out here in the center uh, we still have many loons left so this is the approach how you can do it on this base but we'll take a look at some more bases right in a second so here on the next base, and this is a double um, double invisibility box base, which these bases are kind of getting very popular at the moment. Uh, double invisibility ring, double invisibility box space, or whatever diamond shape, everything with this double invisibility. And the question on these bases is what you want to do. And most likely on these bases there is always good sap value and most likely good flame flinger value and maybe you see it on this base because here on this base you can see here on the bottom there is only this mortar that is a threat to your flame flinger but if this is taken out you can get the whole bottom with your flame flinger so this is the first thing that caught my eye here on this base and the second thing that I saw here is this crazy sap. And you now have already the sap location and you have the use for the siege machine. So now what I am trying to see on this base is what I can get with my suit. And here on, the suit, here on this base, I saw there is 
There is some damage here in the tunnel compartment, but not too much. There is just this ricochet cannon and maybe the monolith. But with our Sui, the town hall shouldn't be activated. So only these two things. And I think the king and the queen should um, clutch this compartment anyway. But maybe some of you already saw that you can't zap out this whole invisibility compartment. You can either send uh, zap the Inferno Tower, the in Expo and the Scatter, or you can do it on the other side, the Inferno Tower, the Expo and the Multi Archer Tower. I went for the Scatter and the Inferno Tower, and then I, I waited a few moments because I wanted to send in my king for the other two buildings, but I wanted him to walk out again and come into the town hall board. We can just see it. And after that, you have very good Lolo path, a very good Lolo path. I can paint it in one second. Um, if the queen actually gets out this thing right here, uh, and the king, something like this. With your saps, you get out these four buildings. And the flame flinger can get the whole bottom side. Right this. And then you can see the only thing that is not in the clear line is this inferno tower right here. But what you can do to get through here is um, let me show it. In the Lolo, you will start a Lolo like this. But this, if this invisibility tower pops, there is no defense that is nearer than this bomb tower. So if this ability tower or this invisibility tower will pop, all your loons will go up there to the multi inferno tower and kind of will come back again like this. But we will see in the replay, um, we can speed it up. Right here, and very important thing to mention is I send it in my flame flinger for the archer tower. So it can already deal some damage here onto this mortar uh, without being hit. So yeah, and now I'm just a little bit with some archer because I don't want my cane to walk in the in the compartment and go back on the other side. I really need him to come back to the queen. And by the way, very important uh, information. I try to change my content in the next few days a little bit. I try to cover more army compositions or just other content like for example a war or CWL um, if you maybe have some idea maybe a free to play project or whatever let me know down in the comments below but you can see here in the replay the king went back to the queen and the queen will now take the ricochet cannon out and I was a little bit lucky that she actually didn't went into the range of the of the monolith and you can see the, the flame flinger got nearly everything here on the bottom he will the yetis will even get the queen down the queen beautifully gets the town hall and even got the monolith as well and now we're starting with the lolo and you can see both air heroes are out, so just send all, uh, all your headhunter into the king because your royal champion will get slowed down. And now we freeze the, freeze the poison tower because we want to take a, as much out as possible before. And now you can see all loots are flying into, into the uh, inferno tower right there and will come back. So you can see this is a three star as well. And we have still one more base to go. 
So without further ado, let's jump right into the last replay. A lot of you have um, wanted that I will show a double invisibility ring base. And my answer always was that they are not so popular in High Legends, but I actually found one. And on these bases, I will never use the blimp because the blimp will probably always never get good value, if that makes sense. But you can see, even if you trigger one poison tower, uh, one invisibility tower, because you will set there, your yetis will only get the town hall and maybe a multi archer tower or whatever you didn't set. But the other side, which is still covered by the invisibility tower, will always pop as soon as the town hall is down and the freeze run out and your yetis just will go anywhere. So that's why I don't really like um, the blimp on such bases. I always try to use the flame flinger, but here on this base, I actually didn't found um, a good flame flinger value. But on this base right here, I actually went with the, with the log launcher. Here in this base, I try to get the town hall with my queen. I want the yetis and the queen to go into the middle and get down there everything. You will not only get the town hall, you will get the poison, uh, the other invisibility tower on the other side triggered as well. And you even get maybe the sweeper right here. And on top, the log launcher is dealing a lot of damage to these buildings. So they're all, they are already weakened up. But now for the, for the exactor plan. I always, I always will sub one invisibility tower with the best value. And here in this case, it's just a multi inferno tower because you, first of all, only have to invest five lightnings. And second of all, it's just the biggest threat to your lol. So that's why I went for this sub. And you get two builder huts on top of that. And now what my plan is, I want just my queen to clear out this compartment right here. And very important, only my queen, because I will send the log launcher in through here. And if you maybe are asking why I don't do this from the other side, from the side right here. And the reason for that is there is a lot of things standing right here and I already attacked this base and I did it with the opposite approach and I just know that my queen died somewhere somewhere right here. I don't really remember. That's why I just like to come in with the, with the side where the damage is already out or just less damage. But let's take a look at the exact rip. And I didn't set yet. My king should go into the eagle right here because with the ability he just gets the most value down here. And very important thing, um, I'm choosing the ground warden side just because it is better to take down with the king. The king is just stuck a very long time on the enemy king. So that's why I went from this side. But you can see the other uh, invisibility tower will trigger now. The queen is going to get some buildings on the outside, um, which is not that bad. But now I'm sending in my royal champion. and. I want her to cut off the queen's pathing because the queen would, if if this these buildings are down, she would go around here and be stuck right here. And the ricochet cannon will just lock onto her, but you still need her to get the town hall and you need her with ability, which is very important. Um, that's why I'm starting with the royal champion from the right and this ball also provides that the, the, the pathing for the Lolo is smaller, which is a little bit better. 
and you can see through this gap here in the base this makes that all your loons will stay on the outside and not go to the inside which is actually good and the uh, royal champion because i placed her a little bit more on the right side she will always get pushed into the middle and this is not only in bases like this this is always the case so if maybe there is um, a compartment in the middle that you want only your royal champion to go in you can just send her on the more right side for example right here if the compartment is on the right side of the lalo uh, you can send her in more from the right and she will always go in here and um, except uh, except the gap is way way bigger than it is right here but this is a very good tip and it's easy to execute as well and you now can see there is not much, uh, much left in the end there is only this multi inferno tower which is down now and we still have the royal champion over there so this is kind of a little tutorial on this base but like i said they are not that popular in high legends and probably they will be off meta in maybe a month again because i can't really imagine that they will stay as long up here but here you have uh, some little tips i hope you enjoyed this video um, if you have i would really appreciate if you like and subscribe and always, if you have some things that I maybe can do a video about it, please let me know uh, in the comments down below. And now, peace out.